I'm going to explain how this works. I'm going to show you how the wiring is done internally. I'm going to show you how to calculate the voltage and the power. Then we are going to have a look at the drivers. We are going to test by powering each LED. And I'm going to show you, we're going to measure the light intensity. We're going, I'm going to show you how to solder the wire. I'm going to show you thermal image to see how hot this is getting. To drive or turn on an LED light, something like that, or any of these, you need a power supply or a driver. The driver is a device that receives AC from this side, and the AC works anywhere in the world. It, this is 85 to 265 volts, 50 hertz or 60 hertz, and the output depends on the module. So we have different modules and have all the types that is available. This is one watt and the voltage is 3 to 9 volts. This is the smallest one and that will be used with this small one which has six pieces and this is 3 watts. And then this is 4 watts to 7 watts and as you can see here LED 0407. 407 is there. This 3 means 300 milliampere and this also works anywhere in the world and the output voltage is 12 volts to 26 volts and this will work with the one that has 14 pieces and this one is labeled as 7 watts the same way 110 volts or 220 240 volts because it works and then we have this 8 to 12 watts and as you can see 812 812 300 milliampere and our output voltage is 24 volts to 42 volts and this will work with 24 pieces remember we said 24 uh, i'm going to show you how to do that but quickly 24 divided by 2 because we are doing it in parallel 12 and 12 times 3 which is 36 volts so this will work with 36 volts so some somewhere in between is 36 volts and then we have this 12 to 18 watts, 300 milliampere. Again, any voltage up to 265 volts AC will work from 85 volts. So this can work in the US, Canada, and Japan, and any other country that uses 110 volts. And that is for this, which has 36 pieces. And the output is 36 to 63 volts. And this one is 18 to 24 watts. You see 18, 24, 300 means 300. And the output voltage is 54 to 84 volts. And this is used for the one that has 48 pieces. And now this one is uh, 25 to 36 watts. That's a little larger. And the output, so the uh, it's labeled as 2536 that is referred to that, those numbers 300 milliampere and the output voltage is 75 to 126 volts and it is used for this big piece which has 72 pieces here's a data sheet for smd 5730 this is 0.5 volts uh, there are different versions with warm white natural white or nature white they wrote cool white the viewing angle is 120 degrees and here it says a polarity mark mark this is a side where it is the cathode and here the operating voltage is minimum 2.8 maximum 3.5 so typically is 3 volt and the current is the forward current is 150 milliampere. We needed these two information to proceed with this. And there are other characteristics that if you want to know and have a look at it, for example, power dissipation, 750 milliwatt. That's the maximum. But we can do the math here, 0 0.1 ampere times 3. So 0 0.1 ampere times 3 is? 300 milliwatt. Reverse voltage is 5 volts. It can tolerate reverse polarity of up to 5 volts. More, more than that, it will damage it. And the operating temperature is minus 40 to plus 85 degrees. And storage can go up to 100. 
forward current 200 milliampere. Now let's have a look at the voltage, power and current. One LED needs 3 volts to turn on and it needs 150 milliampere as I shown in the data sheet. Now because two LEDs are connected in parallel the voltage does not change. Still each need to, needed to be connected at 3 volts but the current 150 milliampere goes from this to turn it on and another 150 goes through the second one and as a result the total current is 300 milliampere and in order to calculate the power we need voltage times the this current which is 0 0.3 ampere the power is 0 0.9 watts because this is the average voltage sometimes people call this at 1 watt positive is this side and negative is that side and this is the cathode and then we have anode as I shown you now let's have a look at the LEDs under the magnifier this corner that has this cut that is the cathode if you pay attention you can see the path here and here I've, I've zoomed in without the magnifier so you can see it you can see clearly all the path that they are connected for example this piece you can see is connected and this piece they are all connected to this path LED and the same way these are all connected in two in parallel and then in series let's let's just open this and see inside it I just perhaps I so here this is what is inside this module and in terms of line this brown is live and then blue is neutral when you are connecting it pay attention to this if you need to respect the uh, polarity pay attention to this you know if, if this is not moving that's fine if you are moving it too much make sure to protect this by adding something here like a tape so when you pull it it doesn't disconnect from these ports and also this side Open this one, which says 8 to 12 watts. Here, this is 8 to 12 watts. Lastly, let's open the smallest one. All of them they have proper driver as you can see here. Here are the power supplies. The prices are shown here. This is for 1 to 3 watt and then 4 to 7. And as you can see the prices are not changing in this case. It was different but I fixed them all the same. Expected life expectancy is 10,000 and here in all cases they work from 85 volts to 265 in AC which means they work anywhere in the world and the power is 300 milliampere so pay attention plus minus 5 but the voltage is from 3 to 12 that's interesting and here the LEDs are sold as white or yellow and 3 watts 7, 12, 18, 24 and 36 watts and this is the SMD5730 LEDs. 
here are the important facts. So the three watt is 32 millimeter, the diameter of the LED, which has six pieces. And then from 3 to 7, it goes to 14, and then 24. This is 50 millimeter, 65 millimeter. For 18 watts, 36 millimeter. So as you can see, this is by 12, so 24, and it adds 12 more. And then 12 more, this is 24 more. 85 millimeter, 100, and 112. Let's see, this is 112 millimeters. That's 99.8. 25 millimeters, 64.8, 64 64.9, 64 that's 65 millimeters, 49.2, 30 millimeters. I got them all. This is 1 watt and 4 to 7, 8 to 12 watts, 12 to 18, 18 to 24, and this is 25 to 36 watts. They're sold like this. On one side we have a connector for AC and for the DC we have this connector and they will provide you with this type of connector where you can connect it to your LED. The 1 watt, the 1 to 3 watt is 30 millimeter by 21.4 by 17.8 millimeters, 28 millimeters. And this large one is 98 millimeters. This is the six piece arranged like that. We have three in CDs and two parallel like this that I have just shown you. As a result, now three times three, three in CDs times three volts each, nine volts. This needs nine volts. And the current, as I mentioned, is 0 0.3 ampere. Now we can use the voltage to calculate the power times 0 0.3. Voltage times current is 2.7 watts, and this is 32 millimeter. Then we have the a little larger one. This is the one which 14 pieces. This is 7S2P. We have seven in series, seven pieces of this in series, so seven series and of two pieces, so 7 times 3, 21 volts, and the current is not changing because it's in series, 0 0.3 ampere, 21 times 0 0.3 is 6.3 watts, and the diameter for this is 50 millimeter. The next one is 24 pieces, so this is the 24 piece, and they have been connected in 12 series and two parallel like this and the voltage is 12 times 3 36 volts so this needs 36 volts the current is not changing the power is 0 0.3 times 36 10.8 watts and the diameter is 65 millimeters the next one is 36 pieces 36 pieces 85 millimeters and it has been arranged in 18 series two parallel, two like this, and 18 of this is connected, and voltage is 18 times 3, 54 volts, the current is not changing, 0 0.3 ampere, times 54 volts, 16.2 watts is the amount of energy for this, and the diameter is 85 millimeters, 18 in series with two parallel, 18 of this is connected, and as a result, 18 times 3 is 54 volts, the current is not changing, 0 0.3 ampere times 54 volts, 16.2 watts, and it's 85 millimeters. The next one is 48, millim uh, 48 pieces, and here I'm bringing this, this is 48 pieces, 24, so 48 divided by 2 is 24 in series of 2 parallel, and as a result, 24 volts times 3 is 70. 2 volts, the current is not changing, 0 0.3 ampere times 72 volts, the power is 21.6 watts for this, and this is 100 millimeter. The next one is 72 pieces, this is 72 pieces, the largest of all, 
and it has been arranged in, arranged in 36s to parallel 36 series of desk pieces. So we have two parallel and voltage is 36 times 3, 108 volts. So this is very dangerous voltage, be careful. 0 0.3 ampere, the current is not changing, times 108 volt is 32.4 watts and and the diameter is 112.8 millimeters. Here, light emitting diode or LED has two terminals, anode and cathode. Anode is positive, cathode is negative. On the side of cathode, we have a line. And this LED needs 3 volts to turn on. And the current that passes through this is 150 milliampere. The actual LED is this, the SMD LED, and this is anode and that is cathode. And you will see from this corner recognizing that this is the cathode. In our, in these modules, we see two of this as a parallel connected like that, which 150 goes from one, 150 from the other, and it will be 300 milliampere current and 3 volts. Now, our, on our modules, if we have something like this one piece of parallel two three four five six each two pieces needs three volts now one two three four five six so total six and the voltage is six times three 18 volts so we need 18 volts to turn this on and remember the current is 300 milliampere because these are in series and the current will not change now to connect it to the battery we need an 18 volts battery the last pin is connected to the negative and the positive will be connected to the anode of the first pair and these are arranged like that and they will turn on now the capacity of the battery will determine how long they will last so this we need 300 milliampere and the battery will supply 300 milliampere each hour now if you want this battery to last for 10 hours so 10 times 300 will be 3000 if you get 18 volts 3000 or 3 ampere hour or 3000 milliampere hour this will work for 10 hours now keep in mind that the minimum voltage is 2.8 volt and the maximum is 3.5 if you keep this in mind then you will understand that and here for minimum and maximum for six pieces is 9 volts i have mentioned here typical voltage you should use this one this value, but minimum and maximum is 2.8 and 3.5 respectively. And, and here for minimum, it should be 8.4 volts because uh, 6 divided by 2 by multiplied by this number. 6 divided by 2 is 3 and then 3 times this because 3 times 3 is 9 and then the same with 3 times this value. So just divide this by 2 because we have two parallel. And minimum is 8.4, maximum is 10.2. For 14 pieces, typical voltage is 21 volts, minimum is 19.6, and maximum is 24.5 volts. For 24, the typical voltage is 36 volts, minimum is 33.6, and maximum is 42. For 36 pieces, typical voltage is 54 volts, minimum is 50.4, and maximum is 63 volts. For 48 pieces, typical voltage is 72 volts, minimum is 67.2, and maximum is 84. And for 78 pieces, for 72 pieces, sorry, uh, typical is 108 volts, and tip minimum is 100.8, and maximum is 126 volts. So keep these voltages in mind and supply it accordingly. Hot. Hold the, the soldering iron for long because this is all metal and it will cool down very quickly. So have patience. When you wait for a few seconds, then it will be sticking to the point.
After that we will just pass our wire from the bottom like this and then we can solder it. Bring the wire, apply heat and then the negative So this is done. Here I've connected an AC power to this and this is a plug. Our voltage is 124, 25 volts and I've connected it using this wire. Pay attention to the live and neutral. To measure the intensity of light I'm going to use this Unity UT383S and in order to get accurate result I have put here an arm, when I move it, it's at the exact uh, distance from the ground. So I'm going to attach this here and we will measure all the devices at the same distance. So it will be like this exactly at the middle and then when I'm done I'm going to move it so this will not go up and down. Now let's test uh, this large piece. I'm connecting it. This is connected to AC and here this is this will be connected to DC powering it up. This is so bright. Let's turn it down so you can see. Now I'm going to measure the intensity of light. I'm going to bring my light meter. This is the Unity UT383S. I've done the review. The link is below the video if you want to purchase it from affiliated link or if you want to watch the video. So this is six, this is times 10, 67,000 lux. Just put one more zero, you will see. Let's measure the AC current for this module. I'm turning it down because it's so bright. I hope it doesn't burn anything. Yes, it's heating up. Let's put something underneath. Ooh, it's heating up. It's burning my, my finger. Passing through these two wires. And this is times 10. Now I'm going to use this Unity UT204 plus. This will give me times 10, This because of this meter, this is 4.2 divided by 10 is 0 0.42. This is 420 milliampere AC at 125 volts. So the voltage is 124 volts. Let's measure the DC current. Let me turn it around. Oh. oh, it's milliampere why it's not reading at all I've connected it to the right spot this shows 103 volts a thermal camera to measure the temperature of the device when it is connected to the power so let me turn off the light so you can see it if I bring my finger so you can see which part is this. Now underneath is the other piece. And now it's 46 degrees Celsius. The hot spot is 48 degrees. 49. Let me turn it the other way 
and let's see sixty seven degrees Celsius it's heating up why this side is hotter this side is hotter than the other one so it's still at 64 degrees on this side let's turn it around whoa 49 50 so the other side was hot no 49 yeah Now they look equal. So 67, that's a 60 degrees Celsius. I just disconnected it. 63 and it's being reduced. Now I'm going to test this 48 piece. And this is 48 piece, 24 watt. And here is the power supply for it. It says 18 to 24. Let me connect it. So. Very bright. The first thing, Zag value. And here, let me put hold. Now, this is 49,000. 49 times 10, that's 4,900 times 10, 49,000 lakhs, the amount of light that this produces. If you want it in terms of foot candle, 4,323. See the thermal image, how hot this is. I'm going to put something underneath. It's 53 degrees Celsius right now, because as time passes, it will get hotter. Let's turn it around and look at the back. Forty three degrees, forty four degrees Celsius. AC power, AC current. So this is two point two, two point seven. Let me press hold. Two point seven. So this is two hundred seventy. Just bring the decimal on this side. 270 milliampere at 125 volts. Let's see again the image from the back. 49 degrees. Turn it around from the face. Let's measure the voltage. And the voltage that I measured for this 48 piece for the 48 piece 24 watt, the voltage is 70 volts, 70.3 volts DC. Now I'm going to test this 18 watts, 36 pieces connected. Let's first measure the light intensity or lax. So I put this underneath directly. So this is 37,200 because this times 10, 10, 37,000 lax. If you want foot uh, candle, 3,458 at a thermal image 56 degrees 56 degrees Celsius let's put it this way so it's 61 degrees Celsius right now let's turn it around let's see from this side 46 so this side is cooler the current shows 
divided by 10, just move this, so it's 0 0.24 or 240 a milliampere at 125 volts. Let's measure the DC current. 230 milliampere. 270. Now this is the 12 watt, 24 pieces. This is 65 millimeters. Let's turn it on. When you are correcting it, make sure to pay attention to this piece. You see this portion. So it turned on. This is much cooler. Let's measure the light. I want to make sure it's underneath directly. I'm pressing hold and it's times 10, 25,700 lax or foot candle, 2,389 FC. 60 degrees Celsius so far. Let's turn this off. Sixty-three degrees Celsius down. Forty-six degrees like before. And here, this is the fourteen-piece seven-watt LED. And here is a power supply for it. 4 to 7 watts, and here it says 12 volts to 20 volts. We are going to also measure the voltage. First, let's measure the light intensity. I'm pressing hold. So the light intensity is times 10, 14,460 lax. If you want foot candle, 1,000. 344 foot candle. Back of it. 48 degrees Celsius. And at the front, let's see if this heat up. 66 degrees Celsius. Let's measure the voltage. I'm pressing hold to hold it. 4.8 volts. AC current. AC current is this is times 10. If you divide it, put the decimal point one more here. And that is 93 milliampere and 125 volts. And let's measure the DC. DC current is 270 to 60 milliampere. Now let's have a look at the small piece. This, is, this has six pieces LED and it's three watts. Here is a power supply, it says one to three watts. It says three to 12 volts. Let me connect it. So this is now on. This is 5,226 lakhs. And in terms of candle, 485 foot candle. 53 degrees Celsius, Celsius. This is times 10, 42. So if I move this one digit on this side, this is 42 milliampere at 125 volts AC. Now let's see the DC. 200 or 220 milliampere DC. So 
So the voltage is 9.15 volts DC. Thank you for watching. This was the review of these LED power lights with PCB and aluminum on the side with power supply. Please thumb up the video and also subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it.